really is. Uh, for me, getting hurt um, ended uh, a phase of my life, or began the, you know, it was the beginning of the end. It didn't quite end there. Mm -hmm. But uh, the mindset of goal focused, like my life was goal focused up until then. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that. I'm going to go here. I'm going to succeed here. I'm mm -hmm. going to, you know, I'm going to graduate top of my class. I'm going to get to the 101st Airborne. We're going to go, you know, I want to go to Afghanistan. I want to do these things, you know, all mm -hmm. these kind of what's. Mm -hmm. and, and everybody has goals, you know, mm -hmm. it's I want to go to this school. I want to have this GPA. I want to get this job. I want to go to med school. I want to be a doctor. I want to get this salary. I want to get to live here. I want to be able to vacation here. What? Mm. And unfortunately, the worst thing that happens sometimes is we achieve those goals. And we go, now what? Mm. Now what do I do? And for me, it was a refocus of I'm never going to achieve some goals mm. that I had set out to do in life. Mm. But that's all right because I discovered through this my mission. And when you're mission focused and not goal focused, mm. you can carry that out anywhere, mm. anytime, no matter what's happened to mm. you, mm. in a hospital bed or on a you know a stage. You know, yeah. you're this. You're this. You, uh, I, I saw this um, story. Mississippi College, you graduate of Mississippi College, go Choctaws. You and I, um, you probably had a better GPA, but that's a whole other story. This uh, this article is about you going downrange. Uh, Wounded Warrior C.J. Stewart's new mission, and uh, it's a really great story. Um, there's some copies of it at the Go Center if you're interested in reading about it. I think you can go online and check it out too. But um, I, I, they they had so prominent uh, the, your arms, and I thought that was uh, when I saw it. I, it kind of it just grabbed me in in a way. That I thought, wow, because I know I know one of your arms. You didn't choose that. Um, and one of your arms, you did choose that. Um, yeah, we'll talk about yeah, that later. Yeah. Um, so, so, uh, but, but uh, tell us, tell us. I, I think it's really cool because I'm sitting here looking. I'm seeing, you know, it says a childlike faith. It says all kind of things. But just how, how I mean, your arms really tell the story of your mm -hmm. life in so many ways. Um, just tell us what what that means. Yeah, and I guess I guess my apology for this service could be to all the mothers of 18 year old men out there. Um, <laughs> if you have a problem with what I'm about to say, Rob will be down front afterwards, um, <laughs> and you can talk to him about it. <laughs> Don't throw me under that bus, buddy. <laughs> I didn't no. go to the electric dagger with you. But anyway, that's all another. Show. How did I know? Anyway, so anyway, tell us. Keep Details going. will get you. Um, well, no. Uh, so many people have always said, you know, come up. Mm in stores or you know my favorites kids because they don't know how to lie yet really well and they're like just staring at my arm they're like what happened you know and, and, and it was yeah. cool it tells a great story mm. and and for me I wanted um you know so much of my life you know is is a part of this but but this mm. is just this life you know mm. this is going to be over and healed and and mm. you know when I get to heaven I'm gonna stop telling this story uh mm. kind of mine mm. but I wanted them you know truly to hear um uh, a story that doesn't stop one that goes, you know, ultimately into eternity. Mm -hmm. and, and I cannot tell you how many people, because ultimately everything we do in life mm -hmm. tells the world something. Mm -hmm. How we drive, the car we drive, the clothes we wear, our attitude, whatever, mm -hmm. you know. Uh, it tells the world mm -hmm. something. And so I wanted something about me that somebody never talks to me, mm -hmm. somebody never does anything, looks at and can see, mm. you know, truly who I am and what I stand for. Mm. And I can't tell you the, the number of people that do not look like me, are not from where I'm from, and do not act or think like me, mm -hmm. have initiated a conversation simply because of what's on my left arm. And mm -hmm. I've had the opportunity, you know, to smile, to love them, and to encourage mm -hmm. them, and, you know, and then mm -hmm. sometimes tell them about what's happened here and, yeah. and, and truly, you know, make a, an impact and a difference all because, you know, they thought that looked kind of cool, and then yeah. they found out what was really behind the can, and they, you know, it was like, whoa. Yeah. And, uh, and for them, they got maybe more than they thought, but you know, it was an opportunity to, you know, again, to impact somebody along the way. That's awesome.